Ganeshka doll. Uh, we want game. Zap guns here. I don't know if they are. Oh my God! I got him! <laughs> right. Oh my God! I get it! Yeah. So, first, how to build the creeper. Well, the creeper is very easy. Watch. I'll show you all the pieces you need. I'm going to show you all the all these things right now. Alright, so you're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're going to need all these pieces. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get this piece, this threed piece. Watch. It's simple. Simple. Watch. And then put this on there. So you have something like that. And then you go one, two, three. And then you get one of these pieces so the head will sit perfectly on the center like, like so. Like so. And then just put this piece on for extra head. And there's your creeper. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put this one in this now. Slenderman's easy. All you have to do is get a Lego character. Black pants. Always... Ow! I just punched my TV, bitch! Okay, so black pants always. Uh, black arms. Light gray hands. I could not find, but this light gray head all the way around. Uh, a suit. My suit is not that good, so, sorry, here is, there is my Slenderman. And now, the Enderman. Now, this is actually a decent one, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you in, I'm gonna show you in pieces. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the leg, with the legs. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get uh, these. You're gonna get want to get uh, one, two, three, four, five, five of these pieces here of these one by one bricks. The one by one bricks, and as you can see, what I have here on the top, I have one by one brick with a hole in it. That is because so it'll fit on the body. See, look at on, uh, look at those. See all those holes there. So it'll fit on the body perfectly. So it'll perfectly center it like that. So, what you, yeah, so these are the legs, here's the legs, what you're going to want to do is have like one of those holes by holes, if you don't want to, that's fine, that's fine. So, the, the arms are, uh, consisted of a ten, a ten piece right here. If you don't have, if you don't have one of these ten, uh, by ones, then you're fine, but if you, if you do, then you're good to go, the, the arms have to be long. And then the other side, on the other side, a sixth, eight piece and a four. You can put as many, doesn't matter what smooth pieces you use, you uh, will use the smooth pieces. So the body, what I did on the bottom to make sure the legs are perfectly straight is that I put these, I put these pieces on, these uh, two by one, yeah two by one there because look at on the bottom there's a hole there's a one little there's a one tab there is if you can tell in the tab uh, and since this piece has a hole in the top these have holes in the top they can perfectly fit like that so that's what makes it very very good so we got the legs and arms done the body so the body you're going to want to put uh as you can see I'll show you here three of those on the bottom one two a three and then what you're gonna want to do is you want to get one of these with a hole in the center so the arms can rotate and then a one and then another one with a hole in the center of it right there and then what you're gonna want to get is the reason why we want to get three one hold pieces are for because let's see if you can see oh yeah so these are all the pieces to the body oh shit I forgot what I just did oh wait no I didn't know I did so yeah I want to take this the three, do you want to put these uh, two by twos on the bottom, like so. Put the other three on the top. Put this 
regular two by two, two by one in the there, the two hold ones there like that. I'm going to put those two hold by ones there. And then you can easily put the legs on like so. And then put the other leg on like so. So then you have the body. See, if I made this any smaller, then you wouldn't be able to really see much. So then now we want to put this on top to hold it together. This uh, flat three by two. Then you want to put these uh, two ones on the top like so. So then you have something like this. Let's see if we can, oh, there we go, there we go. Look, now we can see all the pieces we got there on it. So then we put the arms on. Very long arms the Enderman has, very long arms. So now you are with this, now you have this. So the, the head is a very important piece. So the head I'm gonna take apart. I'm going to show all the pieces of what we have of the head. So what you're going to want to do is... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, here's here's how it goes. So you're going to want to get two wh white flat pieces here, and then you can just draw a purple square in the center there, and then get one of these one these one squares. If you don't have one of these, if you don't have one of these one blocks there, then you can easily use a flat smooth there, and that'll be easy. Then put this this three there, as you can see. Put that there, and then put this three on top like that. This on the back, and you can do this if you want. You can make this the top of the head smooth by putting a a, a, a four there, a two by two there. Putting one of these on, putting a square block there. See, what I didn't have though is I didn't have any more, so I had to use a vent on my Enderman there. And then, once you put this all together, you have your Enderman. Thank you guys for watching. Enderman, Slenderman, and Creeper. Thank you. I like to thank you.